Till now we have seen the examples solve using Nikhilam or Parvartya method. Consider the case where Nikhilam or Parvartya is not possible to be applied. But if divisor is multiplied or divided with some factor then it will be possible. Here comes the new concept which is called Anurupiena. Anurupiena is a Sanskrit word which means proportion or ratio. In this method we multiply or divide divisor by some factor and convert it in such a form that we can apply Nikhilam or Parvartya method. Let's learn how to apply Anurupiena and Vinkalam concept. In this Anurupiena method, in the last step, we are going to multiply or divide our quotient by the same factor. So let's learn our new concept Anurupiena. Let's take our first example. Suppose I want to divide 1031 by 23. 23 does not meet any criteria where we can apply Nikhilam or Parvartya method. So as a solution, multiply 23 with 4 and it gives me 92. 92 is definitely closer and smaller than power of 10. So we can apply Nikhilam formula now. As a next step, split 1031 into quotient and reminder. Reminder will have only 31 as divisor has only two digits. As a next step, apply Nikhilam formula on our new divisor and get the complement 08. To get the answer, I follow all the steps of Nikhilam formula. I put 1 as it is, 1 multiply with individual digits of 0 and 8 and it gives me 0 and 8. Add all the digits of second column and it gives me 0. 0 multiply with individual digits of 0 and 8 and it gives me 0 and 0. To get the remainder, add all the digits of third column and it gives me 11. Add all the digits of last column and it gives me 1. Here, triple 1 is greater than our greater than our new divisor 92 so i will have to divide this triple one by 92 so it gives me quotient as one and reminder as 19 please remember that in the first step i have multiplied 23 with 4 so in the last step i will have to multiply our final quotient with 4 so i multiply 11 with 4 so the final quotient will be 44 and remainder will be 19. So the answer is final quotient 44 and remainder is 19. Let's move to our next example. Suppose I want to divide 1697 by 439. 439 does not meet any criteria where we can apply Nikhilam formula or Parvartya method. So as a solution, I multiply 439 with 2 and it gives me 878 878 is definitely closer and smaller than power of 10 so we can apply Nikhilam formula here as a next step I split 1697 into 1 and 697 I apply Nikhilam formula on 878 and get the complement 122 to get the answer i put 1 as it is 1 multiplied with individual digits of 122 and it gives me 1 2 and 2 to get the remainder add all the digits of second column and it gives me 7 next 11 and next 9 out of this 11 consider 1 as a carry so final remainder will be 819. In the first step, I have multiplied divisor with 2. So in the last step, I will have to multiply the final quotient with 2. So the final answer 2 and 819. So quotient is 2 
and remainder is 819 but the sum doesn't end here please note that 819 is greater than our original divisor 439 so I will have to multiply this 819 by 439 and it gives me quotient as 1 and remainder as 380 so the final answer will be quotient is 3 and remainder is 380 suppose I want to divide 3605 by 828 828 is closer and smaller than power of 10 so we can definitely apply Nikhilam formula here but for simplicity please use the win column concept and convert the bigger digit 8 into a smaller digit in the first step I consider the last digit 8 and convert it into a smaller digit using Nikhilam formula I take tens complement of last digit 8 and will be converted to 2 bar and I increment the previous digit 2 by 1 so 828 will be converted to 832 bar again I encounter the bigger digit at the first place which is 8 so I will convert it into 2 bar and the previous digit 0 will be converted to 1 so 8 3 2 bar will be converted to 1 2 bar 3 2 bar as a next step I split 3605 into quotient and remainder here the final divisor 1 2 bar 3 2 bar has 4 digits so the final remainder remainder part will have only three digits in the next step I use the concept of transpose and apply I discard the first digit 1 and take the transpose of remaining digits which will be 2 3 bar and 2 to get the answer I put the first digit 3 as it is 3 multiply with individual digits of 2, 3 bar and 2 and it gives me 6, 9 bar and 6 to get the remainder add all the digits of second column which gives me 12 next is 9 bar and next is 11 out of this 11 1 will be considered as carry it will be added to 9 bar so this remainder will become 1 to 8 bar 1 please remember that it's not possible to have negative quantity in the final answer so we will have to convert this 1 to 8 bar 1 into positive quantity using win column number so this 1 to 8 bar 1 will be converted to 1 1 2 1 this 1 1 2 1 is greater than our original divisor 828 so I will have to divide 1121 by 828 it gives me quotient as 1 and remainder as 293 so the final answer will be quotient is 4 and remainder is 293 let's move to another example suppose I want to divide 2246 by 182 182 starts with 1 and it's a greater than power of 10 so we can definitely apply Parvati method but for simplicity convert the bigger digit 8 into a smaller digit using win column number in the first step I convert 182 into 2 2 bar 2 using win column concept 2 2 bar 2 divided by 2 and it gives me the final divisor which is 1 1 bar 1 here we can use the Parvartya formula as a next step I split 2246 into 2 2 and 4 6 4 6 will lie in remainder part in the next step I use the concept of transpose and apply I discard the first digit 1 and apply transpose and getting 1 and 1 bar 
to get the answer i put first digit 2 as it is 2 multiply with individual digits of 1 and 1 bar will give me 2 and 2 bar i add all the digits of second column and it gives me 4 4 multiply with individual digits of 1 and 1 bar will give me 4 and 4 bar now to get the remainder add all the digits of second last column which gives me 6 add all the digits of last column which gives me 2 here in the first step i have divided 2 2 bar 2 by 2 so i will have to divide the final quotient by 2 so 24 divided by 2 which gives me 12 and the final remainder will be 62 so the final answer quotient is 12 and remainder is 62 last example suppose i want to divide 1 2 3 4 by 5 44 544 does not meet any criteria of nikhilam formula or parvartiya method so as a solution in the first step i multiply 544 with 2 and it will become 1088 but please note that 1088 has bigger digit which is 8 so i will convert this bigger digit into a smaller digit using win column formula 1088 will be converted to 1092 bar using win column formula again i encounter 9 as a bigger digit so i will convert 1092 bar into 111 bar 2 bar using win column formula so our new divisor will be 1 1 1 bar 2 bar now i can use the parvartiya formula as a next step i split 1 2 3 4 into 1 and 2 3 4 as divisor has four digits remainder will have only three digits as a next step i use the concept of transpose and apply i discard the first digit 1 and take the transpose of remaining digit so it will be converted to 1 bar 1 and 2 to get the answer i put first digit 1 as it is 1 mul- multiply with individual digits of 1 bar 1 and 2 and it will be 1 bar 1 and 2 to get the remainder add all the digits of second column and it will be 1 add all the digits of second last column it will be 4 add all the digits of last column which will be 6 in the first step i have multiply this divisor with 2 so i will have to multiply the final quotient with 2 so final quotient will be 2 and the final remainder will be 146 so the answer is quotient is 2 and remainder is 146 so this is all about win column concept and anurupiyana concept thank you guys